When you're Elon Musk and you're invited to speak at a forum called the World Government Summit, what else do you talk about other than slamming the idea of a one world government? Elon Musk was one of the featured speakers at this year's World Government Summit in Dubai, which has been meeting since 2013 and brings together leaders and experts in various fields to discuss global challenges and propose solutions for shaping the future of government in the world. Speaking by simulcast, Elon Musk said this. I know this is called the World Government Summit, um, but um, I think we should be maybe a little bit concerned about uh, actually becoming too much of a single world government. Um, if, if I may say that we want to avoid creating a civilizational risk by having, um, frankly, this may sound a little odd, too much cooperation between governments. Um, you, know, if, you know, if you look at, say, the, at history and the rise and fall of civilizations, um, the, the really all throughout history, civilizations have risen and fallen, but it hasn't meant the doom of humanity as a whole, because there have been there have been all these separate civilizations that were separated by great distances, and so um, you know, say like while Rome was falling, it, uh, it you know uh, Islam was rising, and uh, so you had like a uh, you know the the sort of caliphate do, doing incredibly well while Rome was doing terribly. Um, and that actually ended up being a source of preservation of knowledge uh, and, and, uh, and many uh, scientific advancements. And so, um, so I think we want to be a little bit cautious about uh, being too much of a, world, of a single uh, civilization, because if we are too much of a single civilization, then if, if we, if the, whole, the whole thing may collapse. Um, I'm not, obviously not suggesting war or anything like that, but I think we want to be a little bit wary of actually cooperating too much. It sounds a little odd, but um, but we, we just we, we want to have some amount of civilizational diversity such that if uh, if something does go wrong with some part of civilization that the whole thing doesn't uh, collapse uh, and, 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 you know, humanity keeps moving forward. Now, of course, Musk acknowledge the irony of his words being at a world government summit and even followed that up with the ironic tweet, it seemed like the right venue. <laughs> and perhaps it was. I would argue that summit in Dubai is actually the perfect venue. First and foremost, we have to note that this concept of a single centralized one world government is actually intrinsic to the very logic of globalization. It requires no conspiracy, no nefarious actors. We don't need Karl Schwab or Soros here for this to work. The political dynamics inherent in globalization naturally work in the direction of a singular one world government. In many respects, Europe is finding that out the hard way with the European Union and the bullies in Brussels, which put an end to so much localized political decision making. Globalist societies entailed a social dynamic that scholars call disembedding. Disembedding is a social process that in effect propels economic activity away from localized control toward far more transnational controls. So here I like to use the example of your local shopping mall. Like if you think it through... Your local shopping mall isn't in any way local. I mean, it's local, of course, in terms of proximity to you. But you'll notice that what makes a shopping mall a shopping mall is that the retail stores are not local. They're national or even international chains and brands, right? This is especially the case if you have a movie theater at your local mall, right? The latest releases are not featuring localized talent or go into the food court, right? It's not regional restaurants. They're chains. They're brands. This is disembedding. The economic activity that takes place all around us has very little to, to do with anything provincial or local. Instead, the economic activity has been disembedded from localized control and reorganized more around translocal dynamics. And so what's important to understand here is it's not merely economic processes that are arrested from localized control. Political decision-making is also dislodged and removed from localized control and recalibrated into the hands of a very few, a globalized elite, a modern aristocracy. And so the point here is that as that logic continues, as it stacks on itself, 
eventually you get a single centralized bureaucratic authority. And we already have that, at least to some degree, with the IMF or the WTO, which are, for all practical purposes, world government organizations, and that they dictate, for lack of a better term, the rules and protocols that member nations have to abide by. The University of Chicago political theorist John Mearsheimer notes that international orders basically establish by integrating nations into common institutions like the WHO, the World Health Organization, right, which establishes the internationally binding rules and protocols that member nations have to abide by. So what Elon Musk is saying there makes a lot of sense. We in a modern globalist world have to be very careful to tame this globalist logic. But of course, that begs the question, how do we do that? How do we make sure that globalism is working for sovereign nations rather than sovereign nations having to be subservient to globalism, giving up their sovereignty and the like? Well, the answer, ironically, was right in front of Elon Musk, and it's going to amaze you. And you know what else is going to amaze you? The new MyPillow 2.0. You have got to click on that link below and treat yourself and a loved one to a warm, soft, comfortable MyPillow product. Mike Lindell has just rolled out his MyPillow 2.0, now with a new fabric temperature regulating technology that keeps you comfortable all throughout the night, gang. It's absolutely wonderful. And you get the same amazing savings as always if you use my promo code TURLY. So the classic MyPillow is normally $69.98, but if you use code TURLY, you're going to get it for just $19.98. And that applies to over 200 products in their catalog. So don't wait. Click on that link below. Give the gift of comfort and warmth to yourself and your loved ones. Support one of America's most amazing patriots and get the best savings ever. Click on that link below right now. Elon Musk's warning against a world government could not have been more appropriate given that such a warning was addressed to an audience in Dubai. You see, Dubai is recognized by many as a model city of the future that is what some have termed an archaeofuture. Back in the 1990s, a book was published entitled Archaeofuturism by French scholar Guillaume Fay. Fay argued that the modern globalist world, rooted in the excesses of technology and mass industrialization, was provoking a crisis of meaning that simply made it unsustainable. He theorized that as the myth of unending progress inevitably wanes, future populations would increasingly return to their so-called archai, or their ancient wisdom and virtue traditions that have sustained their identities as unique people groups for thousands of years. Phi predicted that people preserving a techno-scientific and industrial way of life will actually coexist with people who have reverted back to traditional societies based on religious and pastoral practices and a far more archaic way of life. Phi's theory seems to be playing out in unique ways all around the world, and as we can see, Dubai is considered by many to be a case study of an archaeofuture society. One where constantly advancing technology lives side by side with timeless, and here's the key, localized tradition. Making the world, yes, both more technological and more traditionalist than ever before. So while they may have named their gathering the World Government Summit, the hosting city Dubai testifies that a secularized, centralized world government is the last thing that will ever come out of that meeting. <laughs> As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You will definitely want to check out my latest video on President Trump wanting to bring back the guillotine and public executions. You're not going to want to miss this. It's fascinating. So make sure to click on the link and I'll see you over there. God bless.